Oops. Hi, I'm Margie from MX Energy, and this is probably a guy's worst nightmare, a woman with a power drill. I'm standing on the roof of the Discovery Magnet School in Bridgeport, Connecticut, helping to put solar panels down. But I don't know if I'm doing a very good job of it, so you think you want to give me a hand? Absolutely. Elliot Isban, CEO of American Solar and Alternative yeah. Power, is in charge of integrating the solar panels into the school's energy system. So, Elliot, if I didn't know better, these look like lounge chairs at Club Med. I mean, this is really interesting because they're not secured into the, the roof itself. They're just basically putting the legs on and laying them down, right? That's exactly right. They sit on these pedestals. Mm -hmm. It sort of goes together like a Lego set, and it, it's extremely fast to install. The wind goes right through these tubes, so it's but rated. it doesn't blow away. Correct. It's rated for 130 mile an hour sustained gusts. It gets direct sunlight all the time because the tubes are cylindrical. I see. And then about 15% of the energy is reflected off the roof, so we're capturing lots of sunlight, and it makes the system extremely efficient. No moving parts, no noise no pollution, and energy produced for 20-year life. So this white material is on purpose? Right. It's a cool, smart roof. Besides the ability to enhance the solar performance, it's just saving energy during those summer months when a roof, a black rubber roof, would be right. really hot. So the cooling loads are significantly reduced. Much of what this building is geared to do is help students understand what preserving our resources is all about, what recycling is all about. Well, the tadpoles, where were they hiding? Do you remember? They, they were hiding in plants, but mm -hmm. the beetles see them. Now, what's starting to happen to our friend the tadpole? A frog. He's turning into a frog. What's going to happen to that tail? You know, they carry those messages back home, you know. Smaller and smaller and uh, help influence making sure the recycling bins get out uh, on garbage night and so forth. I'm really happy to be here. My name is Bill Finch and I'm your mayor for Bridgeport. My vision for Bridgeport is that we're gonna be the greenest city in New England. And the way to do that is to change the way we live, to commute more efficiently, to live closer to our work. But it also means that we need to educate the next generations of, of Americans in a green building. Do you see those leaves blowing in the wind? You're gonna, you have a great school because you get to see the leaves change. Solar on the rooftop, the kids have all kinds of science in their curriculum to learn about how to live more in harmony with nature rather than you know, try to dominate it all the time. And I think that's how we're going to reduce our carbon footprint and create jobs is through the kind of economic engine that this school represents. And in fact, they'll be able to monitor just how much energy is saved as a result of the solar panels on the roof. That's not part of a typical curriculum, um, but we will have it in ours so that they understand and they can graph what we're, we're saving each year compared, maybe we can compare it to another school that is new but that does not have the same resource on their roof. Okay, so here's a question. What happens when it's not sunny out? We, we um, buy energy from MX. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's where we come in yeah, handy, right? We come in really handy. But there. there's always rays coming down. Yes, correct? actually these panels, because of this technology, use direct sunlight, diffuse sunlight, and reflected sunlight. So as long as it's bright out, we're producing energy. I think you're doing a really good thing, to tell you the truth, because no matter how much solar we produce, it'll never be enough mm -hmm. to meet our demands. What it can do is make a contribution towards sustainability. Right. It's the best school.